Good morning, friends. Welcome to Good Morning Friends Podcast, where we bring the latest news and updates to you, the bride around the world. Welcome, everyone. Today is Saturday, December 3rd. I am William McMasters. Hello from Zimbabwe, and I'm Jonah Tutani. Well, as you can hear, we have a special guest host with us today, Brother Jonah Tutani. Uh, this is Brother Stephen's younger brother and co-worker in the work there at VGR in Zimbabwe. It's sure good to have you with us today. Oh, it sure is good to be here with you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, well, let's start off by telling us a little bit why you're here uh, stepping in for Brother Stephen. Well, earlier this week, Stephen had to make a quick trip down to Bulawayo. It's about a five-hour drive, and so he wasn't able to make it in time to do this podcast today. Oh, well, we'll come back to Brother Stephen here in a minute, but uh, how about you also tell us a little bit about your role that you play there in uh, VGR and Zim? Okay, sure. Uh, so essentially, my role here is to assist my brother Stephen, who's the office manager here. This includes office administration, planning distribution trips, YF events, and whatever the believers wow. need, and et cetera, et cetera. Yes, sir. Well, it sounds like you stay pretty busy. <laughs> Uh, well, yes, I'm sure uh, you always have been around the work because we all know Brother G uh, in Zimbabwe and running the office there. And yes, sir. Um, when did you kind of start becoming a part of the work? So I'd say, you know, growing up, my dad being the office manager here, we would help out here and there. But of course, education is pretty big here. We didn't get to do too much until soon after I finished high school. That's 2012. And um, I was helping out with translation uh down at the studio. And I started about uh, February, March there. And uh, it was actually whilst I was doing this translations and listening to so many tapes, you know, over and over again, that towards uh, mid-2012, uh, uh, a bit into the third quarter of that year, that's when it just dawned to me. It just hit me. It's like, this is my place. That's I'm awesome. supposed to be here. And I was like, you know what? I ain't going nowhere. I'm here, and I'm here to stay. And I was like, yeah, I'm all in. Hey, man. <laughs> that's how the journey began, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Wow. Well, it's amazing uh, to see the way the Lord uses you and uh, you, Brother Stephen and what you all do there for the work of Voice of God, getting the Word into the hands of the people. Appreciate the Lord. Uh, it's, uh, it's a real blessing to the bride. Um, well, hey, I just got word that Brother Stephen is on location in Bulawayo and ready. He's on the line. Brother Stephen, are you there? Yes, sir, I am. Good morning, Brother Will. Uh, good morning. Well, you know, the podcast would not be the same without you, Brother Stephen, so I'm really glad that we could uh, have you on for just a little bit here. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Brother Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about your trip? Uh, yes, sir, sure. We are down here in Bulawayo. As you know, this message is life to us, and Getting the word into the hands of the people is our number one priority. And uh, this time we had a large consignment of printed books that we printed in Harare in the Ndebele language. And we shipped down here to Bulawayo. So we're going to set a little office up and um, be able to get in touch with the missionaries and ministers and let them know that we had uh, these books in print and they could get them for their congregations and their church libraries and anybody that spoke that language. It was really awesome because the first day that we started the distribution was the first day that Brother Branham on the on this day was in Zimbabwe wow. in 1951. So it was very special that uh, that's the time we started distributing that message. We have not distributed Ndebele spoken word books like this before. The language has been in the works for the last couple of years and seeing it all come into fruition is really rewarding. And there's a lot of excited missionary brothers and believers in this part of the country. I was able to speak with some of them today, and uh, you'll hear just how grateful they are um, from the interview that we did. So that's wow. the primary reason why we're here. Well, that's wonderful, Brother Stephen. Let's go ahead and listen to one of them. God bless you, Brother Senor Lo. Oh. Thank you for being here. Oh, God bless you, Brother Tutani. Thank you, sir. Brother Senor, I remember when I sent you the text that we are having uh, the barely spoken word books. You were one of the excited uh, responders there. It seems like it meant a lot to you. Can you tell us more about why you felt the way you felt? It's a true uh, brother Tutani. Mm. And uh, this is a great thing that has taken place. 
Yes. Because for many years, our area here, we had uh, spoken words of Sulu, which is not exactly in the valley. Mm -hmm. But now within the valley books that have come on our way, we are anticipating for more of them. And uh, we hope that uh, they will still come as our brothers are working on, on interpreting because that's what uh, we learn from the message. And one thing that I would like to point out is uh, we want to thank the voice of God for all this great work that they're doing uh, to spread the word of God in many languages, especially our brother Joseph Brenham. For many, many years, since, uh, since I came into the message, 1979 or so, we had only English uh, books and uh, cassettes, and that's what we've been listening to. But now with this, oh, we want to thank God. I hope Amen. our people rejoice mm -hmm. to have this on our hands. Well, thank you very much for that report. Uh, it's totally enjoyed it, you know, and just what the Lord is doing there. Can't wait to see you when you get back home, sure. Thank you, my friend. See you soon. Lord bless you, brothers. Have a good rest of God the episode. God bless you too, buddy. God bless you, brother Stephen. Take care. Shalom. Shalom. Over in the country of Brazil, due to very strict import laws, extra tariffs, and taxes in Brazil, it has not been possible for Voice of God to send our Agapo tablets into the country. The very cost to import the tablets is greater than the total cost to even sponsor it. VGR has these issues, not only in Brazil, but throughout Latin America and the world for that matter. Every country has different laws and ways of doing business with imported goods. There's so many differences in how each country operates. However, when one door is closed, we know God will open up another. He will always provide a way to see His people are fed with the living word for our day. And for sure, the believers of Brazil certainly covet and love this message with all of their hearts and long to have an Agapo tablet. Three years ago, VGR started working to find a manufacturer in Brazil that could provide us with a quality tablet that we could transform using our software to mimic the Agapo tablet. The Lord provided such a tablet that we are now able to purchase within Brazil and at a much better price than the shipping and importing tablets from our office in Jeffersonville. Despite the physical differences on the outside of the tablet, the inside is all Agapo, and when the user presses play, the result is most certainly the same. For many, this is the first time that every message sermon in English and Portuguese are available to them. They have never had the message readily available at their fingertips like they do now. Thank the Lord for this wonderful breakthrough. No doubt he raised the standard once again to call the enemy's bluff and supply the word to the believers of Brazil. Amen. This was also a good learning experience as we now know we can actually use this avenue elsewhere if needed to ensure that every country has an Agapo tablet. How wonderful. Over the past month, a lot has developed in the far north African country of Tunisia. It's a small French-speaking country bordering the Mediterranean Sea, only a short distance from Sicily, Italy by water. Recently, VGR received communication from a pastor to one of only three churches in the country. News had spread about the Agapo tablets streaming throughout Africa, and he was desiring tablets for the believers of his own country. Within a short time, we established a better line of communication through our European office, and soon after, we obtained a list of believers desiring tablets. Now, the numbers have been approved, and the tablets for Tunisia have been added to the production list. Lord willing, these tablets will be produced and shipped during the first part of the new year. This is uncharted territory for VGR. Getting tablets into a strictly Muslim country with 99% of the population being Muslim. So please be in prayer that the Lord will lead us in the right direction for this project. Brother Aristides, our VGR representative for Angola, shared with us a wonderful testimony of the healing of Brother Pedrito Miguel, 
who was in the hospital seriously sick, suffering from malaria and high blood pressure. A prayer request was submitted to Voice of God Recordings, and he also put on a prayer cloth that he received from VGR. Here is Brother Aristides sharing with us the testimony of Brother Pedrito. Brother Pedrito, who works in one of the provinces of Angola, was seriously sick and was transferred to Luanda and hospitalized having malaria and high blood pressure. His situation was not improving and was just getting worse. So he decided to give us a call and sent a prayer request so that Brother Joseph could remember him in prayer. At the same time, the brother also requested a prayer cloth. Together with our assistant librarian, we did visit him at the hospital and gave him the prayer cloth. The brother rapidly recovered and was discharged from the hospital. And as soon as the brother was discharged, he gave us a call telling us that he was feeling well and was already out of the hospital. After a few days, before returning to the province where he works, he paid us a visit at the office with the purpose of obtaining some material. While seated in the office, fellowshipping, he testified that during the time he was in the hospital, he felt the spirit of death near him. But through his mobile phone, he kept playing the tape all the time, keeping himself in the right atmosphere. And he continuously kept remembering the scriptures written in the letter of the prophet that comes with the prayer cloth. And the brother was discharged two days after receiving the prayer cloth. We praise the Lord for the healing of our brother. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is always a blessing and an encouragement to hear a testimony from a fellow believer that's willing to stand up and tell others what the Lord has done for them. We surely know the Lord always loves it when we think about Him, talk about Him, and listen to His voice, Amen. and also to give Him all the praise for His mercy and grace. That's wonderful. Brother Saidi, our VGR office manager from Malawi, recently reported on another weekend tape trip he made, this time to the central region of Malawi. These trips aren't just simple invites to have special guests at your church. They're sincere requests from pastors and individuals who have seen or heard of the effects of the tape ministry and desiring to learn more about how to implement the tapes into their own churches or groups. Some of these are established churches, and others are new converts and small, very rural outpost churches and have no means to hear the voice. When Brother Saidi makes a trip, he'll play a tape for them and then guides them on how to conduct tape services by themselves. Even so, many don't even have electricity or the funds to purchase the necessary equipment needed to hear the tapes and to keep the devices charged, even if they do have a tablet. And for that reason, VGR is in the process of shipping complete sound systems to 30 different churches with no electricity in remote locations throughout Malawi. These packages will include portable power stations, solar panels, and speakers, which will enable each church or group to play the voice and also to charge their Agapo tablets or devices. What a blessing these packages will be to those precious believers. Something else to note. VGR has already distributed 10,000 tablets in Malawi, and there are still many more needed to complete the work. Soon, we hope to have tablets for all of these believers to listen to the message in their own homes. Amen. Today, we have a special guest joining us from all the way down in Australia. Brother Andrew O'Dwyer is our office manager there. How you doing, Brother Andrew? I'm doing excellent there, Brother Will. I just heard you returned from a trip from Papua New Guinea. How about you uh, tell us a little bit about that trip? Yeah, that was exciting for sure. I, it's been six years since I've been to Papua New wow. Guinea, and 
you know, I was really praying and I really wanted to get back there again. And I think, um, you know, that trip, especially back six years ago, was, was where we really had an opportunity to meet many precious saints. And one of the key things for me is we met Brother Paul, who's become our representative there. And he does a, an awesome job in distributing the materials throughout the country. So what was the main purpose of your trip and um, when did you go? Well, I just just, just got back actually uh, just now. So I'm just back, just recovering, but it was a wonderful trip. Uh, the purpose, we obviously six years ago we went to PNG and we wanted to understand the needs. Part of what we do at Voice to God is we want to listen to people in the country, to the brothers that do the outreach work, and we want to understand what we can do to assist that. So in the early phases of the country, we sent a, we've sent crates of books and materials to mm-hmm. assist the brothers. And then more recently, last year, we sent about 50 Agapo tablets. Wonderful. So because of COVID and all that, it's, it's obviously it was difficult to travel. It would have been really nice if we had been able to go there and share the, the Agapo videos and the message from Brother Joseph mm-hmm. and just to get the brothers to really understand what we're you know what we're trying to do with the with the tablets i would assume that a lot of those areas are very remote yeah absolutely i mean Papua new guinea is about four times the size of indiana fortunately most of the believers like live in the highlands so in that area we can kind of have a central location where brother paul lives and all the materials can go to this central location and that kind of satisfies you know 70 to 80 percent of the needs of the believers. I know you mentioned earlier about 50 Agapo tablets being distributed, but I assume that there's a need for other material as well. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Brother Will. I mean, uh, it's a critical part of the ministry there. The, the books are essential. I mean, the brothers are traveling into remote areas where there's no power and there's mm-hmm. no internet. So part of my uh, trip was to understand the printing facilities in country. I mean, as you know, we print inside other countries yes, and you know, we try to meet the needs of the brothers. So the ministry brothers there and the missionaries need the books and so we want to have a, we want to look into those needs and I believe we can, um, you know, identify a suitable facility to, um, to print some material if we need to. Absolutely. Is there anything that you'd like to say to the believers listening in? Yeah, I just really wanted to express my thank you to the listeners for just uh, for just getting behind the work of Voice of God because every time we get books and tablets and SD cards into the hands of believers you know we're all part of that great machine Amen. to reach out to the predestinated seed and you know that really really makes my heart glad well thank you brother Andrew and sure appreciate your time and pray you get rested up Thank you, Brother Will. Awesome. God bless you. God bless you all. Shalom. Shalom. And finally, Young Foundations has just posted the latest issue of the Cub Corner magazine on the Cub Corner website, making it available for everyone to download. We also have added 16 translated Cub Corner magazines in four different languages, which include Spanish, French, Dutch, and Vietnamese. The latest English issue is now also available to purchase on the Young Foundation's product page. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. Be sure to be looking out for the updates during the week on Branham.org, WhatsApp, and our Lifeline app. Also, Remember the new YF quizzes that's just posted, the countdown, and also convinced and then concerned. Brother JT, thank you so much for sitting in and helping me on this episode. You did an awesome job. It's been a great pleasure, my friend. I'm certainly honored. Well, to everyone listening in, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And Lord willing, we look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, God bless you and shalom. Shalom. Shalom.